right, so today we're gonna walk through the basics of how to add simple information to your Google My Map. And we're gonna use the scenario of like a, a kid's day event at a local fire department. So we're starting with a Google My Map that already has some fire department locations listed in there. And we're gonna look at the one adjacent to uh, the Gypsum Fire Station. So. We've already got that up here. Now we're starting with the Google base map, which doesn't have a lot of detail. And we kind of want to use a satellite map, right? Cause we're going to need parking locations and stuff like that. So to do that, we go down to where it says base map here, and we're going to change that background to a satellite view. All right. So that comes up and we've got the baseball field and we've got uh, the parking lot. So first, what we're going to want to do is create a layer. Right? So the reason that we want to create a layer is that's where all of our new stuff is going to go in. So we'll do a kids day event, right? Save. All right, so we've already got that layer. Now we're gonna add where to park for the Kids Day event. So you'll see up at the top, there's a couple of different options for moving, adding a marker, or drawing a line. We're gonna draw a line. And we're gonna choose the top one, which is to add a line or shape. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put our cursor right where the area is that we want to draw a box. And it's pretty simple. You just drag and then you click where you want the line to stop. And then you go back to the beginning to connect the entire thing to make a box. So here we've got it and we're going to call this the uh, parking area, right? So parking area, safe. All right, um, style. Uh, let's go ahead and make this kind of stand out just a little bit by making it an orange color. All right, so we've got that already listed. Now the next thing we're going to do is put a place, maybe for like a concession stand. So we're going to go up to the top and we're going to select add marker. So what this will allow us to do, different than drawing a line, will actually be a specific point on a map. So I'm going to drag it right here and I'm going to call this uh, concession stand. Hit save. And in this, we're gonna change this style and you'll see that there's some icons down here. Uh, there's a knife and a fork one. We'll go ahead and put that one on there and we'll leave it blue for the time being. Um, so we've got that. And then let's also say that there's like a, I don't know, a point where we're gonna do, we're gonna set up a big climbing wall, right? So climbing wall activity, uh, save. And again, we're gonna go down to style. And this one doesn't have like a clear icon that looks like a climbing wall. So I'm gonna click on more icons. And then I'm just gonna start typing up here, um, climbing in the filter. And that will help us identify an icon that kind of looks similar. You can browse it, but you can also type to filter. And there, climbing ropes, okay. And since this is an activity, we're gonna make that one purple. So, um, yeah. So we now have concession stand, climbing activity, parking. And if we want just to keep the view clean, we can go back to the base map and select it back to the map. And you'll see how it takes a satellite view away and just leaves the icons that you want. So that's a really simple way of adding some basic information to help support an event or to provide information regarding a specific area that's custom. All right, hope that helps.